What's up everybody, this is Ali, the photographer, filmmaker, and now film set builder. I'm on the set of a, of a, a prison that I built myself. Um, this is, I built this prison set on the rooftop of a building. Um, this is for a film that uh, I'm gonna leave in the, I'm gonna leave in the comments, um, a link to the film. But this, it looks like, it looks very real. It looks like a real prison set. Um, but it's functioning, the doors, I guess you can, uh, the door, you can open the doors and close the doors if you want. Um, come, come, bring the camera. Can you carry it? Okay, so this is a full, this is a full 12 foot prison here, okay? And this is all wood and it's all PVC piping. And you can actually come inside the cell. Okay, hello. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. So this is a this is a full, this is a, a full size prison. It's um it's nine feet high. It's twelve feet wide, and it's six feet in depth. Okay, I made this. Don't ask me why I made it this size. <laughs> um, uh, if I could do it again, I probably would have made it eight feet instead of nine feet because. When it's when it's nine feet high, it becomes very difficult to like attach the top pieces. But um, the first thing I did was well, first I drew it on paper, and then I, I, I designed it in Adobe Illustrator, and I put inches to feet ratio. So if it's going to be nine feet, I put it nine inches. Okay, and this thing is twelve feet, so I put twelve inches, and that I did everything exactly from inch to foot ratio, so that I could figure out exactly how long I needed to measure the distance between something. So. If, 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 like for example, if this is, um, each of these doors are three feet, right? Each of these doors are three feet in length. So to figure out the space that these bars had to be, I had to figure one inch from here. With, with, in Adobe Illustrator, I could just drag the measuring tool across and it'll show me 35, uh, 35.5 inches, you know? Or three, or whatever, wherever, it, whatever it would be in inches, it would become that in feet, you know? So th that's why I did it that way. And these are all, this is all wood. It, it looks very real and it looks like metal for the, for the most part. But this is, this is wood and this is PVC piping. And this is paint that I got from, uh, from Home Depot. So what I, what I had to do is I had to uh, buy all the wood and then I had to cut it to the right sizes. And then I had to drill the holes. I had to space the holes apart. And the reason why I was able to get this accurate spacing is because of what I did in Illustrator. Okay, because in, a, in Adobe Illustrator, I could pinpoint exactly how far I needed these to be. And then I knew in, in real life how far these, these each needed to be. And then I drilled each individual hole, which took... Oh my God, it's way too long. Um, and this is uh, what they call fall, F-A-U-X fall brick. This is actually wood. I'm actually pretty good at making things look like concrete that are not actually concrete, but this is actually wood, not concrete. And this is just a bed that I found in the street. Somebody threw the bed in the street, and I said this would be perfect for my prison, so I just decided to drag it up four flights of stairs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so, again, this cell is six foot in length. I, I, I put it I put it six feet in length because if you're going to put two people in the cell, first of all, it has to be small enough to look like a real cell, but it has to be big enough so that you could shoot inside of it. So if you're going to have two people arguing in the cell, you also need space for the cameras. Okay? So, and I put, the, and the reason why it's 12 feet in length is because I wanted the doors to be three feet wide. If you could come around this way. See, I wanted I wanted each door to be three foot in length. Right? Which which made a lot of sense to me because if you look at the human body size, three feet in length is so I wanted each door to be three feet in length because that's around, you know, that's good for a body size. So since I wanted each each door to be three feet. That would be one door three feet, one door three feet, and then each frame would be another three feet. So that would total 12 feet. That's why it seems 
very long. If I made the doors two feet, which would be very short, which would be like about maybe this big, then, you know, the door would be like really small. But if I made the doors two feet, that would mean this door would be two feet, this door would be two feet, and this would be two feet, and this would be two feet, and the whole thing would be only eight feet, you know? Which is pretty small if you want to like shoot inside of it, you know? So, so it may seem a little bit too big, but that's kind of the only choice you have, you know? I mean, you could go two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and you'd have 10 feet. I mean, you could play with the numbers as much as you want. Um, and then let's come around to the back. That's what you wanted to show the back, right? So the back, okay, so, it's still recording, yeah? Mm -hmm. So the, this back wall, can you see? This back wall was by far the most difficult part because you need a wall that's 12 feet in length and about nine feet in height and you need it to stand up on its own okay so you have to build this wall on the floor and then you have to stand it up so come back here and this is how we built the back we have these three support beams building it up me and my beautiful girlfriend uh slaved over this back and uh had to flip it over Um, and we didn't know if it was going to actually work or not. <laughs> but, I mean, designing it, I had an idea that it was going to work. I was about 90% sure it was going to work. Um, like I said, come around the back here. So, these are three separate, like I said, this is wood. This is the same material on the front and on the back. This is just standard uh, $20 boards of wood from Home Depot. I'm sure I could have bought... Uh, styrofoam or some other lighter material but guess what the styrofoam is gonna blow right over when, when it starts to when it starts to get windy so this is three separate $20 boards from Home Depot and they're all connected as, as one piece across the back and I have three support beams cut at a 45 degree angle to hold them up straight and Put these boards some to make sure that these things don't come apart on the, on each other. Um, and this is what's holding it up. I, we kind of had the idea that it might hold up by itself without the weights, but then when we got here, we could feel it was a little bit unsteady, so we put we put some weights on the back. And it's 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 always a good idea to put weights on the back. Um, I have about 45 pounds here. I have a 60 foot bag of concrete. See what happened was when I was buying concrete to uh, paint to make my mixture for the paint I really I, I bought the wrong concrete you actually want cement not concrete you know so I bought concrete it's a 60 pound bag but guess what it came in handy so I put the concrete on the back I put the concrete on the back here 60 pounds of weight hey and 45 is 105 pounds of weight here and then you got another 40 pound bag of concrete there and a 10 foot weight 10 pound weight so um that's about 105 plus 110, 15 plus another and plus another 40 pounds is about 155 pounds of weight holding up the back. And then the tops and bottoms are connected. So pretty much this is my prison. Um, if you uh, have someone you don't like, you know, and you want to keep them confined, you know. You, Call me up and uh, <laughs> I'll incarcerate them, you know. So, some of you might be wondering why I put it outside because it might look too unrealistic. But the best, the best way to shoot a prison is at night when it gets very dark, because most prisons are actually very dark. So, what you want to do is you want to uh, you build it in the daytime, but you actually when you do the shoot, you're gonna do it at night and you're gonna light it. You can light it however you like. I chose to put a light directly in the in the center of the back wall to like give illumination to the detail. I wanted the, the details of this concrete wall to come out. And since concrete is so rough, when you light it from the when you light when you light it directly from the side, you can see all the bumps in the in the concrete. You know, that that looks that looks very nice. To me it looks very nice. I'm sure to you to look very nice too. Um 
and uh, you could you could play with the lighting as much as you want. You could light it really like orange is the new black if you want, or you could make it really dark and gritty, which is how I like it. I mean, when you when I imagine prison, I don't imagine it to look like bright and clean like orange is the new black. I I I envision it to look dark and gritty and dirty and like a place that you don't want to be. So that's exactly how I built it, and that's exactly how I'm going to light it. And pretty much that's it. Okay, so um, if you have any questions or comments about how I built this prison, I'm sure there's a lot of questions you might have because this was literally months of me pulling my brain to figure out how to build this. So if you have any questions, just message me directly. If you'd like to ask me to come and put together your, your prison, feel free to make me an offer. Um, that's pretty much it. What else? Is that it?